Hello and welcome to Adobe Illustrator. My name is Chris Nielsen and I'm going to guide you through this introduction to the industry standard vector drawing program. So here in Illustrator, I have my welcome screen and what I want to do is just set you up for the work that you're going to do in this awesome program. So one of the first things is you go to window menu workspace and you'll notice you have an essentials workspace and you have an essentials classic workspace. The difference between those two is really simple. If you have been using Illustrator for years, you would go to essentials. It's like a stripped down version of the workspace. It kind of expects you to know where to find everything. If you are somewhat new and you need things kind of on your screen, ready to go, I would suggest Essentials Classic. I have been working in Illustrator since the pretty much the very beginning and I still, to this day, use Essentials Classic. Everything's at the ready, ready to go. It allows me to be a little faster. So I always suggest Essentials Classic. So I'm going to click that. And immediately you get all your panels here, but what you want to do is go back and say window menu, workspace, reset, essentials classic. Okay, that's going to put all your panels back, truly, but it also expands your properties panel. And again, if you're new to Illustrator, I probably wouldn't have this taking up a big chunk of your screen. So in the upper right corner right up here is a double arrowhead. I'm going to collapse that properties panel. But in the other panel list here, I'm going to expand those panels. So that is your Essentials Classic default panel space. What I would also recommend is that you do not go with this long single column toolbox. It's just harder to point out certain tools. I would always suggest a two column toolbox. That way when I refer to these tools later in a demo, I can say it's the fourth one down on the right or it's the seventh one down on the left instead of saying it's the 16th one down. It's just easier to find things. Now, unlike Photoshop, you do not have an options bar here in Illustrator. Your tools are pretty much set. Okay, so that's a good thing. Um, this is your workspace. Now, just like Adobe Photoshop, what I always recommend personally is that you do not have your layers panel squished down here. I always drag the layers panel out. You're typically going to do a lot of work on layers and you don't want to push this way out here because then you're getting less and less workspace. So I just kind of slightly overlap it right there for now. And this is it. This is your workspace. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about your preferences. This is the top of the hood of the car. This is the part you see and you work with. The engine under the hood of the car is your preferences. So I'll see you in a minute and we'll talk about all the stuff that happens behind the scenes to get Illustrator running to its max performance here, in, like I said, in just a minute. 